Hello and welcome back to KSP Ad Astra. Today we're launching a fuel depot. It's going to be one of these two launches that we're doing today that'll be launched from our space center. But we're going to start off first with the Searcy lander, which is leaving the Mun. Yes. So, uh, I didn't record any of the time that we were on the Mun. Oops. I you'll. I've been doing this a lot recently. Uh, I do not mean to do it, but uh, here we are. We have our uh, our very, very both helpful and slightly flawed lander. The, the reason why it's flawed is the RCS don't work properly because I forgot to put a fifth um, nozzle on the RCS. So it doesn't uh, translate like I would need it to. Uh, which kind of causes a problem uh, but it's not like a super serious problem it just uh, keeps us from docking as quick as we would want to also have to roll it a lot in order to dock it but yep now we are closing in on the station and we have to do the uh, docking maneuvers like I just talked about but I also wanted to mention uh, we are running out of fuel for this craft so we are going to need some sort of way to just fuel the rocket. And the the way that we could do that is we could send up a tanker that'll come up and uh, dock to the station and just fuel it and then the tanker could go home. Or we could create a fuel depot at the station. Now, early on, it's going to be fairly fairly simplistic it's not going to uh create its own, own fuel or anything but we will have some s s multiple very large tanks uh attached to the station which will allow the uh craft to fuel up basically as much as it wants and our future station that we'll be launching in the next episode because i've already recorded it the future station that we're going to build will be in um in uh, like almost a Keo stationary orbit, and it will basically have uh, a large fuel tug attached to it. Just had to transfer our crew out of there. But for right now, if you could like, share, maybe subscribe, maybe even leave a comment down below, uh, I would really like that. It would help me out, and uh, the likes kind of help you out too. If you like this type of content, it'll recommend more. But here we are sending up our first fuel tank of the day. It is going to dock to Metzli Station, and it will uh, allow for us to refuel our lander, which is a good thing because our lander is low on fuel. We will also be launching um, in a at a later date a uh, a fuel depot for the Liberty Mun base, which should be uh, pretty good. But here we are starting our circularization burn because it is a heavy payload. I used a little bit more than I should have on the uh, on the fuel side, uh, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like I never unblocked that lower tank, so it just thinks that it's empty, and I thought it was empty, and uh, yeah, it hit the water pretty hard. But our tanker is already on its way to the Mun with a pretty full fuel tank um, that will allow us to dock to the station. I did have to drain some of it uh, so that we could, you know, use the engine so that we could slow down because if not we wouldn't have been able to uh it's just going to serve its main purpose which is as a fuel tank uh, just earlier than i'd like to uh but that was fine so here we are coming in on the mun we are going to perform both our capture burn and our uh intercept burn uh or like our uh basically yeah, our intercept burn at the same time because uh, I'm just starting to get that good at launching to uh, Mun Orbit, which is pretty good. Uh, yeah, 
So now we're only about 6.7 kilometers away. I had to burn in the direction of the station so that we could get in all nice and close. Uh, there's just a little lag spike as we enter the area and we're going to detach our thing by draining the rest of the fuel out of it, except for in the lower portion so it could still do its thing. Here we are. We are going to uh, make our way and dock to the station. Uh, as you can see, there's the uh, docking camera on the left, which I really like to use. Uh, and I just think that it's pretty cool. So here we are slowly making our way over to the main station. This portion of the video is actually at like 20 times speed, specifically because of how fast uh, I needed to do it. Because uh, it took forever to dock this thing to the station is quite heavy and uh, didn't really want to cooperate. I didn't even notice it was wiggling like this, like it's wobbling. I didn't notice that at all until I had uh, sped up the footage but here we are and it is docked and then we can quickly move the fuel to the lander there we go the lander's main fuel tank is full now which is great for us and i was just checking on the life support and now we're at hermes 2 which is somewhere in between kerbin and duna it's in that um interplanetary space up there we just need to do it it's little circular circularization burn so that it can be forever in orbit of Kerbal which will be great because it's a communication satellite that'll help us and now we have Astra 8 launching on a Phoenix 2 it is our new reusable rocket which I think has um, some legs up on the previous uh, Phoenix 1 uh, most notably, it has more fuel and it can launch more. Uh, currently on board are Rimne Meyer, Rachel Leroy, and uh, Natalia Istomina, um, but it's spelled weird. Yeah, it, it Natalia is spelled really weird, but that's fine. Yeah, so here we are. We're currently circularizing circularizing while our upper stage is re-entering the atmosphere. It is coming in really hot, but that is all right. There we go. Here is our craft just slowly coming in. And it will land itself right there in the ocean. And here we are back at, uh, back at our craft. We are currently about to send this craft all the way out to the mun dock to the thing and we are going to send and we are going to basically restock the station with kerbals there's also a bunch of items on board such as rcs to fix the whole rcs issue with the other rocket which will be very much required uh the other rocket uh or not the rocket but the circe lander needs that other rcs i'm tired of doing that so yeah, we can just attach the RCS to the side and everything will be all okay. Here we are. We are about to plan our circularization uh, burn, but I uh, accidentally went the wrong way about it. I went underneath when I actually should have gone over the top and you will see me correct that in a moment. Uh, so, I'm going to burn the wrong way and then waste a little bit of fuel and then I will burn the correct way and waste less fuel. Or well, yeah, it'll be wasting wasting less fuel in the long run and I'll get an encounter pretty much immediately. I mean, look at that. That encounter is pretty much perfect. It's like 1.7 kilometers off, which is absolutely perfect for what we need. Uh, keeps us safely outside of the distance where we would hit the craft um, if anything went wrong, which is not something you want, not even in the slightest. But here we are finally making our way to the Mun, and we will be reaching our encounter point very soon. Uh, I wanted to uh, make our 
maneuver node that'll basically get us the encounter and circularize aka capture around the mun here we are coming in real quick and we're gonna slow down after the lag spike of the station hits us uh yeah it's a pretty long lag spike uh but there we go now we are within the area that we need and i was trying to just think of which one i needed to decouple and i decoupled the wrong one yeah that was a mistake um so yeah these kerbals have like no way of getting home but that's okay because technically they have the searcy lander and if anything bad were to happen they could go down to liberty station yeah that's yeah and then we we would be able to send a rescue mission in plenty of time but there's nothing that's going to happen to these kerbals they are going to be okay but they uh they will need a a little attachment to send them back home which is what i'm going to do i'm going to send them an attachment that they can dock to and then they can go back home attached to it and then they can unattach from it when they're uh, going to re-enter the atmosphere and they can land just like any other capsule it, it won't be really any issue at all i wish things like this could work in real life but again they don't um but it'd be pretty cool if it did so here we are we're going to be docking to the command uh the fuel tank uh which we will not need any fuel from <laughs> because we don't have anything to fuel the rocket with. But here we are, slowly coming in. Just could not be any slower, but that's fine. And there is a dog at the door wanting to be let in, but I have like 30 seconds left. Uh, yeah, anyways, um, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. And remember, if I get to a thousand subscribers by the end of October, um, I will release three full length videos. Goodbye.